हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ द आइसोमेट्रिक सर्कल्स ऑन डिफरेंट प्लेन्स द स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द आइसोमेट्रिक सर्कल्स ऑन फ्रंट प्लेन साइड प्लेन एंड टॉप प्लेन एंड द डायमीटर ऑफ सर्कल इज 50 एम नाउ वी शुड ड्रॉ द आइसोमेट्रिक लाइंस फर्स्ट ड्रॉ हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन एंड मार्क ओरिजिन पॉइंट देन ड्रॉ अ वर्टिकल लाइन परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस ओरिजिनल लाइन फ्रॉम पॉइंट ओ Draw the lines with 30 degree angles to the horizontal line from point O to the left side and right side. Now, as the diameter of circle is 50 mm, so we should make the isometric square with 50 mm side. Measure 50 mm distance on vertical line from point O. Similarly, on this line also. Then set. scale parallel to this line and draw a vertical line from this point similarly set scale parallel to this line and draw a line from this point this is the isometric square or we can say rhombus now mark midpoint of each side now there are two obtuse angles in this isometric square So we should join opposite midpoints from each obtuse angle like this. So we have joined opposite midpoints from big angles. Take this radius into compass and draw the arc from these two midpoints like this. Similarly, draw the arc from these two midpoints on this side also. Now, take this distance into compass and draw the arc from these two midpoints. Do the same procedure in this side also. This is the isometric circle in front view, or some cases it is in side view. Now we will draw the isometric circle on this plane also. We need to make isometric square. Measure fifty mm distance from point O and draw a vertical line from this point. Then mark midpoints. then join these midpoints from big angle take this distance into compass and draw the arc from these two midpoints similarly draw the arc from these two points then take this distance into compass and draw the arc from these two midpoints Similarly, join these two points also. This is the isometric circle on side plane. Some cases it is in front plane. Now we will draw the isometric circle on top plane. Now mark midpoints on this isometric square. Then join the midpoints from the big angles. then take this distance into compass and draw the arc from these two midpoints similarly do the same procedure in opposite side distance into compass and draw the arc from these two midpoints do the same procedure here also so we have drawn the isometric circles on front plane side plane and top plane 